Was fühlst du so früh hierher, Herr Brian? I was taking some pictures. Where did you hide the chest, Mr. Bryant?
Das Geschäft ist geschlossen. Ah, uh, uh, sp sprechen Sie Englisch? Yes, we are closed at lunchtime. Ah, I'm sorry, the door was unlocked. Oh, uh, Mr. Bryant? Uh, no. My husband isn't in. May I take a message? I'm Anna Bryant. William Matheson. Would you ask your husband to please call me at the Oestreicher Show? Attorney at law. What do you want? My brother, Johann Kronstein. And perhaps I can help you. Well... Is this your husband's signature? Of course. Then he did receive the check and the publishing contract that he mentions here. Is something wrong? The publishers have never heard of your husband, Mrs. Bryant. They never saw the prints he took to Mr. Yates? Maybe they never heard of Mr. Yates either. Well, Eric Yates has represented the publishing firm of Newhart and Morris and Zurich for years. What prints did your husband give him? Oh, studies like this and the text to go with them. There's obviously been a misunderstanding somewhere along the line, but I think we can straighten it out. Now, did your husband keep any correspondence he had with Yates? I'll show it to you. But are you coming to this? You're not a publisher. No, I'm their lawyer. Actually, I'm on vacation, but Newhart heard I was in Zurich and asked me to check with Yates. You see, they've had no satisfactory reply to their queries about your husband's letter. You saw Mr. Yates? Didn't... I spoke to him briefly on the phone. He was just taking off for Berlin. When was that? Yesterday afternoon. Something very strange. Mr. Yates called me early today from Zurich, asking that Richard, my husband, telephone him at once. Would you show me the correspondence? Just a moment. Your friends are getting impatient. Hmm? Your friends. No, no friends of mine. Finster, say. Where is that? About 50 kilometers from here. What do you think about this one? Here on the wall. Make tablets. Czechoslovakia. This is everything. I, I hope your husband won't object. I can easily come back later. No, please. Ah. This will simplify things. Oh, excuse me. Stay here. I'll take it. Oh, those were attached to the check and the contract. Mr. Yates was very casual about things with Richard. They've known each other many years. If I could just get this Xeroxed. We have a Polaroid copy here, if that would do. Fine. Oh, God. Who is it? Felix. Oh, say hello. Ich höre. Die Leiche liegt in Grails Gasthof, bis die Gendarmerie kommt. Fahre sofort hin. Wo ist Anna? Herr zu, Felix. It won't take a moment. Oh, there's no hurry. Ten seconds. Hier ist ein Mann aufgetaucht namens William Mattison. Ein Amerikaner. Gerade aus Zürich angekommen, sagt er. Er ist jetzt in der Dunkelkammer mit Anna und kopiert die ganze Korrespondenz mit Erich Yates, dem Vertreter des Verlags in Zürich. Er soll ein Rechtsanwalt sein. Überprüfen Sie das. Ich persönlich glaube aber... What did Felix want?
What is it, Jenny? There has been an accident. Yes, Peggy? Bill Matheson's calling from Salzburg, Mr. Newhart. He's on line two. Thank you. Bill, I got your cable here about that Bryant matter. <laughs> it makes no sense. Fill me in. Something smells about this, Jim, and my hunch is that it comes from Zurich. You don't mean Eric Yates? I do. He claims that Brian's a psychopathic liar. But when you see the file I just put on the wire, I want you to judge who's the liar. What file? The correspondence that Brian keeps on his dealings with Yates. Now, there's also a photograph of a check that he received through Yates, supposedly from Newhart and Morris. A $500 advance. Drawn. Advance for what? A book of photographs of Austrian lakes. What the hell's the matter with you? You know we've never published any book of photographs. Yates knows that, too. So why did he send Brian a check for $500 in your name, drawn on the Maritime Bank of New York, and signed Emil Birch? Listen, Bill, I've never heard of Emil Birch. I don't know anything about that check. But I'm going to look into it, and I'll call you back. Come on. Please, God, hold the scene, bitte.
him, all the work is by him, and the tone, the deep tone, is the sound where came the name of Salzburg Bull. The building 1502 play every day at 7, 11 and 6 o'clock. It is original Salzburg music box. <laughs> <laughs> this is the pillory. Come here, middle, it's like the house. With a big hole in the neck. And you take the other line, you take the line, you take the line, so in the, for the hands. And here in the town, they, they pull. Take this. <laughs> the dungeon is six meters deep. Here they hang the people on their feet. And they must hang here until they make a confession. <laughs> Keep together, please. Keep together. And follow me, please, up the steps to the sweating chambers. The terrible places with the people's chain to the wall and their bodies exposed to the red hot stones. Keep together and follow me, please, up the steps. So we are up on the Outlook Tower. Which again is a stick of water for, bitte. Stick of water for. We are 140 meters high up the town. Here at the left side, it is the oldest detail of the castle. Oh, oh, pardon me. Oh, that's okay. I just wanted to say goodbye. Well, did we say hello? No, not to you. To Salzburg. Well, pardon me again. Go right ahead. Goodbye, Salzburg. Auf Wiedersehen. Feel better? No, it's for real. Can you imagine leaving all this for a winter in Chicago? Oh, I can imagine. The worst. You've been there. You must be American. Your guest, William Matheson, New York. Hi. Hi, Elisa Lang, Chicago. You know, this is a this is a hell of a long climb just to say goodbye to Salisbury. You don't like it? No, no, no. I, I like it fine so far. How long have you been here? Well, uh, four hours. Well, that explains it. You're not over jet lag yet. From Zurich? Zurich? Really? It's my last stop before home, unless something comes up. Like what? Like a job. I would have thought you were still fighting the battle of the Bay Average. Thank you. I won that two years ago with straight A's. Mm, brains, too. Thanks again. I got six months in Europe as a graduation present. I've stretched it like you wouldn't believe. Now suddenly lots of static and no more bread. You wouldn't happen to be young executive needs. Bilingual secretary, driver, companion, etc. Too bad I'm on vacation. Else have you been in your travel here? You name it, and I've been there. Even Russia. Most places I never stayed for more than a week, but I've been here since the festival. 
gotta be my favorite small city. Much more fun than Prague. The nearest I ever came to Czechoslovakia was this afternoon, a photograph of Lake Toplitz. Where was that? I'm in a photo shop near here, on Kaigas. I have got to get back to the hotel. I'm expecting some phone calls. Sure. Where are you staying? At the Österreichische Hof. Very good. The pronunciation, I mean. Oh, thanks. It's a nice place to have had lunch there. How about dinner? We could eat in my room. No, 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 no. Just so I won't have to leave you in the restaurant when my New York call comes through. Might be more inconvenient to be interrupted in your room. But I can't really. I'm expected at a party at the Schloss Fuschel Hotel. Oh, you could skip it. I can't. It's a farewell bash for me. I'm gonna make a call, okay? Elizabeth, Felix Zauner, please. Dietrich here. Zauner's away. Where? A friend of his had an accident at Finstersee. Who? Richard Bryant. Benedesco? Lev, Elizabeth. Bryant's had an accident at Finstersee. Zauner's up there now. Zauner. So Austrian intelligence is in on it, too. Correct. And there's an American named Matheson. Madison? Matheson. M-A-T-H-I-S-O-N. That's the name of the man your agents tried to follow this afternoon and didn't. He's staying at the Österreichischer Hof. Take care of his phone. I can give you 30 minutes. Try to do better than those two idiots from Prague. No way. Wow. We could have one more drink if you've got time before your call. For sure. Calls from New York. Sounds very important. How important are you? Oh, well, I'm just a lawyer doing a little chore for a client. Then back to Zurich, go right away home. I think uh, Zurich for a few days anyway. Great. I should still be there. Look, when you get there, why don't you give me a call? I'd love to. Three four zero zero three eight. I might take you up on that dinner with no interruptions. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Matheson. Where's the Schloss Fuschel Hotel? 20 kilometers from here, sir. That's about 12 miles from Lake Fuschel, but it's closed last week. The season is over. For you. Excuse me. Try the Bryant number again, will you please? What's the problem? It's trouble with telephone. Oh, is that so? I told you I had trouble with the telephone. And what is this? Excuse me. Excuse me. You fixed it. Yeah. Remember now, keep it short and no detail. Put us on the squad box. Bill, listen to what I have to say very carefully. Some things have come up that uh, I can't talk about. A man named Chuck will meet you in Salzburg tomorrow morning. Chuck who? Chuck is all you need to know. Now, just one minute, Jim. 
I am being tailed everywhere I go, and I just had a goddamn pistol stuck in my gut. Let Eric Yates clean up his own mess. Eric Yates is dead. to keep my rooms for another day, possibly two. I'm sure that can be arranged. Oh, oh, yes, there is a lady here who wishes to see you. Oh, I have a camera now. that my husband was murdered this morning. Murdered? They call it an accident. But he was found drowned. All at once, I'm afraid to trust anyone. Even Eric Yates. Eric Yates is dead. Oh, my... My God. Sorry. Will you walk me home, please? Of course. I've never been af afraid before. shouldn't have come to you. Of course you should have. This morning, as my husband was leaving, he said, if anything goes wrong, contact Yates. They were once in British intelligence together, and Britain trusted him. I had doubts. I don't know why. Well, you were right. He never had any intention of having your husband's pictures published. But the, the check, the contract. Phony. Richard was so happy about it. An achievement, finally. I suppose I shouldn't be saying such things to you, but my husband was always haunted by a sense of failure. He was a very inward, private person, but not unkind, thoughtful, and good. No more. Did help you with the show? No. He worked for Felix Sauna up in Unterwald. 
He was only staying with us because he had a bad cold. Whenever he has any little troubles, he comes to me. Like a boy. A little boy. The lights on in the dark room. Is it your brother? No, it can't be him. Let me have a key. It's for the side door. The shop door is bolted. took all the pins to see prints. And the Yates letters. Elisabeth Lang, komm herunter.
Herr Dietrich. A friend? Of your hands. Kaikasse 1. Bitte schnell. Ein, ein Rettungswagen. Ein Unfall in der neuen Passage. Ja, sofort. Oh, what, what is this number here? 340038. Oh. That's the Zurich number that Yates left for my husband to call him back this morning. Good evening. Good evening. Mrs. Bryant would like a room for this evening. I can give you one on the second floor. Anywhere. Would you fill this in? May I see your passport? We'll take care of that tomorrow.
Geschlossen! Wer ist da? It's me, Johann. Oh, Johnny. Johnny, I was so worried for you. What are you doing here with that amerikanischen Schnüffler? Do not talk like a child, Johnny. Werner Dietrich also had an accident outside our door. I was afraid. Don't be afraid, Anna. You saw Richard. Was he? Was it terrible? He looked like asleep. There was nothing. But it was not an accident. They tried to get me too. They? Yeah. You will not believe. Anton Grell and some other I've never seen before. Anna. I have the chest. But don't worry, don't worry. It's hidden all right. I knew he'd found it when I saw his hands. Rope burns. I figured if I'd taken it from him, he must have hidden it close by. Remember his picture of the picnic ground? The three big rocks. That's where I found it last night. And then they tried to kill you? Yeah! But they are sorry. I'll tell you. What's in it, Anna? Huh? You must tell me. It's padlocked. I haven't had a chance to break it open. Still box, you know? I promised him. <laughs> he died getting hold of you. He would want me to know. For your sake. You will need money. What's ever in the box? I must know the value of it. And then? And then? Listen. A man came to the shop from Israel. He said if what is in the box is what he thinks, he will pay a lot. I asked how much. And you know what he said? Junge, I will pay you. And the other will make you pay. He's right. That was just bargaining. <laughs> if it is so valuable to him, it may be more valuable to some others. They killed Dick for it. And Yates. Yates? And Dietrich. Next, you will have an accident. Yates. So now you are the only one who knows? The Nazis know. And there are others. Yeah. Madison. Oh, you're so wrong, you and Felix. Would you tell you if he's an agent? Anna. Please. No, Johnny. No. Never. Never. Get rid of it. Give it to Grell, anybody. Oh, forget about it, Johann, before we all kill for nothing. We won't talk about it anymore. But don't worry, Anna. <laughs> don't worry. You are the strong one. Remember? Hello? New Heart's friend, Chuck. Go to a booth. Number is a fifth of your age. Six times that. Then repeat the first digit. And add one. Yeah, I read you. Should I turn up the collar of my trench coat?
Enjoying your vacation, old buddy? Get to the point. Grab a cab to the Geisberg lift. I'll meet you up on top. See you. Is Gottfried. Matheson is on the weeks. Danke. Alles ist vorbereitet. Some people can't take the altitude. Matheson, Chuck. You look like you could use a drink. Give us some more, sir. Spelled Peking. A capital offense, huh? You were leading him right to me. 
How the hell with it. Mrs. Bryan talk to you about the chest? What chest? Well, I thought you might have. You look like the type of brand new widow might open up her heart to. If you got me up here for that, it was a wasted trip. And an unnecessary killing. Am I getting uncooperative vibes, Bill? There are three dead bodies already, and I don't intend to be the fourth. You see, I'm on vacation. The fourth was a guy named Dietrich died this morning of falling downstairs. You may be able to save Anna Bryant from being the fifth. Would you consider that a wasted trip? Go ahead. Newhart's inquiry into that $500 check signed by Emil Birch gave us a lead we've been after for months. We knew Birch was a payoff man for Chinese agents in the States, but we could never catch up with him. Because he was in Zurich representing Newhart and Morris under the name of Eric Yates. And doubling is a British agent. Oh, that must have made Newhart happy. Now, what's this about a chest? Bryant located it in Finster Sea and made a deal with Yates. The Nazis got wind of it. They broke his code with Warsaw and liquidated it. Yesterday, they took care of Bryant. Now Salzburg is crawling with agents from all over, all after the chest. What's in it? I sort of hope Mrs. Bryant might have confided something to you last night. But we have a damn good idea. A couple of years ago, the Russians retrieved a steel chest from Lake Tuppence, hidden by the Nazis at the end of the war. Contained a list of secret Nazi collaborators, people who could be called on to help the cause again when the time was right. Like when J. Edgar Hoover retires. Guten Morgen, Herr Benedesco. Guten Morgen. Haben Sie gut geschlafen? Danke. So eine nette Musik. Anyway, the word is out that the box Brian fished out of Finstercy contains duplicates of the list in the top of its box the Russians have. And that's what's put a bug up the International Spy Network's ass? A box of soggy records 25 or 30 years out of date? You gotta be kidding. Four dead bodies is not kidding, old buddy. Hey, look, I can see a few warmed over Nazis getting steamed up. I can see the Israelis sending out their war criminals. But what the hell is our government interested in this for? Put your legal mind in gear, Bill. Forget neo-Nazi revivals, forget war criminals. Think how many former German nationals the United States has in sensitive jobs. If any of them are on the top of its lists, Vulnerable to blackmail. We need to know those names. And if our guess is right, they're in the Finster Sea box. Wherever the hell it is. You think Anna Bryant knows and is going to tell me if I ask her nicely? She or her brother? Her brother wouldn't give me the right time. Tell you what, why don't you ask them? I'll introduce you. I'm staying out of town until we know where the box is. I need a free hand when the action starts. Look, there's a better idea. It's a guy named Felix Zauner. He's a friend of the family. Also an Austrian intelligence agent. Thought you were CIA, by the way. I was with him in Vienna early this morning. Sure, he's on our side, but he's competition. My worry is that Zauner might just beat us to it because of the old friend bit. You're clean. You've got an established business reason for seeing her. She knows you and seems to trust you. You're our connection, Bill. Like it or not. Machst du in meinem Haus? Bleib stehen! Schau zu mir her! Aber soll ich hinschauen oder stehen? Ich bin nicht hingeschaut. Hol den Wagen! Das ist für den Anfang.
Isn't this a dreadful way to live? It's the only way until this is all straightened out. You mean about the book? No, I mean about the chest. Oh, I see. Anna. Look, I, I don't give a damn about that box, but I do care about you, your safety, very much. I hope you understand. Please come in. You know where it is, Anna? There's your brother. You must ask him. He'll be here late. Can you tell me what's in it? Anna, your husband laid his life on the line for that box. Why? That wasn't worth so much to him. His life, the way it was, how it was with us, an emptiness. I was afraid it was me. Anna, why did he go after the box? He thought that would get him reinstated in British intelligence. After this long? Why? He never got over being dismissed from the service. For a long time, I didn't understand. After he read about the topless chest, recovering the one in Finster's he became an obsession. You mean he knew it was there all the time? Yes. A few days after the war ended, when his men hiding out in Vienna told him about it and offered to show him where it was hidden. Did he tell him what was in it? Anna, your husband's dead. Three other men have been killed. You're the target now, you and your brother. If something happens to you, for God's sake, Anna, you must tell me. Papers. Lists of secret Nazis. Nothing else. That's all. Come, I'll show you. It was Johann who found it. He was rowing a party of tourists one day, and just to impress them with the depth, he let out a long line. They say Finsters is bottomless. He was very embarrassed when it hit bottom at only three meters. He looked down to see why. And that's what started everything. Oh, excuse me. There are more if you care. You know how to work this. Yeah, sure. Johnny. What is it? That was Trudy. Trudy Seidel, his girlfriend in Unterwald. Johann was supposed to go to her as soon as he got back from Salzburg this morning. It was terrible and important, she said. When he didn't come, she went to his place and found a ransack and no sign of Johnny. Only his jeep was there. Did he have the box on her? I bet to get rid of it. Well, he said it was well hidden and he was going to get money for it. Did Trudy call the police? No. She hoped if I asked Felix down, it would go quicker, but his office doesn't answer. I promised her I'd come after the burial. I'll take you up there as soon as it's over. Dankeschön, auf Wiedersehen. Good day. Weißwein, bitte. Bitte schön. I want her in a car. What type of car? Small and fast. The only kind. Alyssa. Bill. I thought you were in Zurich and Points West. I got a reprieve. A terrific job. I was just celebrating. All alone. You know, I still get a kick out of going to a bar without having to show my ID. Pepsi generation, huh? If that's what turns you on. How about lunch? Sans interruptions. Ah, it's a beautiful thought, but uh, I'm all tied up. No way? No way. You'll have a drink. You must. 
You haven't even asked me about my job. I'm asking. What'll you drink? Uh, J.B. Rocks, please. Yes, sir. So, where are you off to in that small, fast car? Well, I plan to drive back to Zurich. Tell me about that uh, job. Arranging accommodations for ski parties. I get to travel all over, trying the soups, testing the beds. Yeah, it sounds like it has it all over Chicago. It's beautiful. Could have been a lot of fun. Yeah, I'll never forget what might have been.
dir die Beine zu Brei. Wenn du uns nicht sagst, wo du die Kiste versteckt hast. Hallo? Redet der noch immer nicht? Nein. Wie lange wollt ihr denn noch brauchen? Was soll ich machen? The American agent Chuck left here in a rented Volvo, dark blue, Austrian license S194111. Math isn't contrary to your report. Is not CIA. Well, he is working with them. And you failed to keep him out of circulation. He is the only connection to Anna Bryant and her brother, who know where the box is. So will the Nazis soon. They have the brother. I'll get it. Don't worry. Sauner will help me. He has every reason to keep the others from seeing what's in it. When you get it. And I urge you to get it. Don't add to the list of your errors. Are you threatening me, Lev? Perhaps. Type B, 10 minute fuse. The box must be destroyed. Oh, there's Felix Sauner's Porsche. Did he bring news? Ah, oh, no. Nothing, I'm afraid. They are searching everywhere. Oh, uh, Bill Matheson. Oh, I'm sorry. Felix Sauner. Mr. Matheson came to see Richard about the book. Yeah, Johan told me. Have you seen through this idol? Well, we're looking for a house. To the left, after the school, where you hear the concert. I would go with you, Anna, but you may do better alone. Trudy was waiting here when I arrived, but what we conveyed was her alarm because Johan had not kept a rendezvous. Yeah, has Grell been questioned? Among the first. He says Johan left this afternoon to guide some hunters staying at the inn. But this is a lie. Prove it, Anna. Anna, I'm truly as concerned as you, but... This is getting bare habit. <laughs> Isn't it, then? Hello, Fidget? Hello. The shop is not open. Well, can I look around? You know each other? I do not have the pleasure. Uh, Miss Lang, Mr. Sounder. Good night. Oh, good night, Felix. Good night. Please, if you're here. Of anything. course. Where will you stay? At Trudy's, I expect. Good. Good night. Good night. It would not have hurt to wait a few minutes. I know what I'm doing. Not always, Elizabeth. Not when you killed Dietrich. He named you before he died. And it was reported to Vienna before I could smother it. Go on. They know I would not have ordered you to do this. So the deduction was not hard for them to make. So, you had to admit that your little American girl, Friday, was actually a KGB infiltrator. 
train you. Since when? After the Nazis broke Yates' code and leaked the word that he was a red Chinese agent at you, his double-crossing girlfriend. I think your people will not be too happy with you. They'll be happy enough after I report the demolition of the Finster's HS. Demolition? That'll make you happy too, right, Felix? Explosive device type B. Ten minutes after it's attached, no more evidence. So you can relax. As long as you continue to play ball with us, of course. To attach the padlock, if you would not play with it so, you must first have the chest. We may have trouble with Trudy's parents. Oh, I suppose they're at the concert. I know Johan was supposed to be taking her. Never fear, Chuck is here. Christ, when will you cowboys grow up? Sorry to scare you, Mrs. Bryant. If I'd asked for the saddle farm, I'd have asked the wrong guy for sure. That's all there is in town tonight. You could have asked Zauner. We don't have much slang, Phil, so we don't want to horse around with Zauner unless we really need him. This may come as a surprise to you, but Mrs. Bryant is more interested in finding her brother than in that goddamn box. I understand. But the two are tied together. That's what I feel. The box is found, and then you are dead. I expect you to cooperate, Felix. I may be on my way out of Austria. You have no place to go. Tell me, you're a friend of the family. Does Anna Bryant have a pet name for her brother? Dirty laundry, old buddy. Ich habe versprochen, nichts zu sagen. Ich habe es ihm geschworen, Anna. She won't tell me. Promise not to tell anyone anything. Well, you tell her that if she wants to see Johan again, she's got to tell us everything. Kein Zweifel. Brian war ein Doppelagent. Deswegen schnüffelt er am Finstersee wegen dieser Kiste herum. Er ist tot, Quamm drüber. Wir werden diesen Kronsteiner schon zum Sprechen bringen. Ja, was gibt's? Ich brauche ein Zimmer. Ich habe keine Zimmer. Was Sie sehen doch, dass ich beschäftigt bin. Yes, and I know what you're busy about. Was sagen Sie da? If you want the chest, I can get it for you. Idiot. Deine Schwester Anne möchte mit dir sprechen. Sprechen. Hör zu. Johnny? Oh, Johnny, have they heard you? It's nothing. Listen to me. It's not worth it, the box. They have me and they're going for Trudy. There are men here, Johnny. And afterwards, you understand? After they're through with her, they'll kill her. Anna, in, in the bedroom, in Trudy's bedroom, in her marriage chest, in her, tell her 
It's all right. Where are you, Johnny? Some blick. That was not agreed to ask where. Insurance. I do not understand. You understand, okay. Why do you make it for us to have the box? Anybody but the CIA. We don't want it. But I have to verify it's the same type as the one we took from Toplitz. That is understood. Otherwise, I inform the gendarmes where you're holding Johan. Have this, Chuck, now. Anyhow. Don't move. Don't say anything. Du sollst das Maul halten. Up to yours. Wollen Sie, Herr Zauner? Not so fast. What are you waiting for if you want that information? Stellen Sie sofort die Kiste hin. Dann lassen Sie beide festziehen. Das wird dir nicht helfen. Where is Johann Kronstein? Sonnenblick. She knows nothing. He does. Ask him. Sauna, Sie lassen hier die Kiste? You promised I could look at it. It's all yours. Let's go. Tell us where Johann Kronsteiner is. I think I know. The Sonnenblick has a matter. Anna, go to my shop and call the Chandelier in Aussie. Say we are going up to the old gun emplacement on Sonnenblick. You said you didn't know Alyssa. She was an undercover agent of mine. You have lovely help. You knew she planned to blow up that box, yet you did nothing about it. How come? Is this a cross-examination, Mr. Madison? I just got the impression you'd have been just as happy as she was to get rid of that box. Being foreign to the English language, I'm very aware of the grammar. You did say that I would have been happy to see the box destroyed. That's what I said. You are then implying that the box was not destroyed. The box Brian recovered from Finster Sea. Well, it was supposed to be kept secret, but I guess it doesn't matter now. We knew what the top of the chest looked like, and so we brought along a facsimile full of old papers on a chance. When we located the chest, we pulled what we call the old switcheroo. A funny word. The spell went still. Your name is on those lists? To save my wife from the gas chamber, I became an informer. For 25 years, that was buried. I thought forever. And the tablet chest was found, as the KGB did to me. It can be done to anyone whose name is on the lists.
up and put him on the table. Pick him up! Thank you, dear. 